Upcoming, Kingston leading 7 to nothing, but 24 minutes of uh, play yet to go. And Coughlin, as mentioned, uh, fighting awfully hard in this contest, the traditional game of the morning. Coughlin will kick off. The ball to be placed in the kicking tee on the south 40. And uh, Gritschko will be the kicker. Gritschko standing now in front of the official holding the ball. At Stan Gritschko, who has been playing a fine ball game today, as an end, although most of his high school football career has been spent as a backfield man. The uh, lineups will have Stan Gritschko and Barry Davenport at the ends for Coughlin, Tom Gilday and Ed Burke at the tackles, Bill Everett and Joe Michaels at the guards, Pat Sweeney at center, a backfield of Lou Blom, Greg Zitch, Jim Lazarski, and uh, Dick Holthouse. For Kingston High, Dan Watkins and Bob Surridge, the ends. The tackles, John Uter and Ron Kopicki, Dick Jesse and John Zaleski, the guards. Larry Rosenbaum, the center, in the backfield of Jack Williams, Jack Jones, Bruce Neitz, and Mike Racklevich. The kickoff to be by Stan Richko from the south 40. The ball on the kicking tee. The whistle thrills, and the boy moves forward. His teammates accompany him. It's a low kick, and bouncing, and uh, into the hands of a receiver. Uh, Williams back at the 27-yard uh, line, and he returned it to the 40-41 uh, before he is brought down with uh, Davenport and uh, number 8-0 as uh, principal tacklers. And uh, we check to again identify Mr. 8-0. I believe that that's Michaels. We've identified him before in the today's ball game. That, uh, no, that is uh, Even Thomas. Even Thomas. Raklovich on the carry. Makes about three as he works up to the 45-yard line. Second and seven on the 45. Wing T, wing to the right side. A fake to Raklevich and a give to Jones. And Jones spins as he's hit by Pachotti and has to be pulled down by Gritschko as he got to the midfield strike at the 50-yard line where it's about two yards short of a first down. Third and two. Third and two. The play is near the right sideline stripe. As Kingston moves towards the southern goal here at Wilkes-Barre Memorial Stadium. Sideline to the right. T offensive tight T this time. Roll out to right side. The give to Reklevich. Reklevich makes the necessary yardage for what appears to be the first down. As he bursts to the 47-yard uh, line. Tackled by Pachotti, number 45. And we've said that so very, very frequently. This defensive captain of the uh, Coughlin Club uh, analyzes plays beautifully and makes a tremendous number of tackles. That is first down, number nine in the morning for Kingston High. Here's a give, and the play is stopped on the right side with uh, Rich Goal, number 33. And uh, number seven zero, Michaels, uh, Joe Michaels in on the tackle of uh, Jack Jones, the ball carrier, after he gained one and is stopped at the 46. That's the Coughlin 46, second and nine. T offensive formation with a wing to the left side. A roll out to the left side by Williams, and Williams on the keeper makes about three as he again spins as he is hit just about at the point of scrimmage and works his way to about the 42-yard line where it will be a third down situation and probably five to go. Third and five on about the 42. And uh, Les Lease comes to the uh, sidelines. Richard Jesse was in as a messenger boy carrying the play. Wing T to the right side. Back in motion to the right. Roll out to the right by Williams. And Williams is pulled down by two Coffinites as number 44 and number 62 said, Buddy, you're not getting anywhere on this one. And he didn't. So it was Mike Babushchak in as the principal tackler. And he got some assistance from Tom Gilday on the pin down. Fourth down and about six as he lost about one on that play and Mike Reklevich goes back in punning position and Lazarski and Blom go deep for Coughlin. Here's the pass. Here's the ball being booted high into the air. End over end. Receded the 15 by Blom. Blom is immediately hit by one, two, three, four tacklers and there's a free ball but I think the ball got free after the whistle had blown and it probably will be a continuance of Coughlin's offensive uh, from about the 15 yard line. And boy, Blom, after he got possession, 
as he got possession, as we uh, orient ourselves to the diagonal of the field now, from our vantage point, we find that he gained possession on the 10 and advanced it out to the 12, not at the 15, at the 12-yard line, first down and 10. T offensive formation with a tight T. Lou Blom is the signal caller for Coughlin High, and Blom whips the ball back to Greg Zitch, and Zitch is hit back to the scrimmage line at about the 10. Red flag on the field. Red flag on the field. Bulldogging, I believe. Bulldogging which will occasion a penalty against Kingston. Wrestling with a face mask. This has got to be a hazard in uh, football. Coughlin was offside and Kingston was uh, bulldogging and so the penalties nullify each other, the infractions nullify each other. There'll be no penalty, so we'll start action on the 12-yard line, first down and 10. We're in the third quarter. It's 7-0, Kingston leading Coughlin. Blom on the give to Zitch. And Zitch is hit as he gets to about the 14-yard line. And uh, after he had been momentarily checked by a couple of Kingston tacklers, a safety man came up and hit him real hard. And down he went. But back into the scrimmage, back into the uh, huddle he goes. He carried it out to the 14, where it is uh, second and about seven. They flank Lazarski wide to the left side. Lazarski flanked wide left. A roll back uh, and a give to Holthouse. And Holthouse is hit at the scrimmage line as the forward wall moves in on him. Surridge particularly and Payer in in the tackle, 76 and 62. Also, Richard Jesse, number 84, in there nicely on that play. They stopped him at the 15-yard line, where it becomes third down, and still about seven to go on the 15. Call it uh, third and about six in the 15. Flanker wide to the right side. Not too wide this time, just flanked out a little bit. A rollout to the right side by Lou Blom, the quarterback. Lou Blom is hit as he gets to the scrimmage line, and down he goes, as uh, this time, it's a combination of Dan Watkins and Ron Kapicki on the stop and Mike Clark on the pin down, making it a fourth down situation for Coughlin deep in their own territory on the 16. This calling for the kick. The deep men go back for Kingston. They are Racklevage and Richards. Racklevage and Richards. Blom standing at the moment on his own five yard line for the punt. Red flag on the field, infraction of rules. I think Kingston was offside. The ball floats out, and Richards fumbles. But I believe Rackleverage recovered, or uh, Richards himself recovered, out on the 45-yard uh, line. And as mentioned, there was a red flag back at the point that the uh, scrimmage started. And whether the play will be recalled will be determined probably by the Coughlin co-captain, because uh, from my vantage point, I believe that Kingston was outside on that play. And the conference seems to bear that out as the explanation is being made to the Coughlin co-captains. I think they might achieve a first down on this one if they uh, take the penalty against Kingston from the point where the play originated. One, two, three, four, five. No. Any part of the ball will make it a first down, and I think it'll be a first down. This is a tough decision for referee Andy Billinge. The officials are going to go into their own huddle now to determine whether this is really going to be a first down. Rim did was uh, at the point where it started they split the chain to make certain that uh, each end of the chain was uh, in proper proportion and on the basis on the basis of that split it would appear that a five yard penalty against Kingston is still going to make it slightly short of a first down it'll make it fourth down again a fourth down situation and less than a foot to go for the first down less than a foot to go for the first down and places the ball out just at the 20-yard line. Down. 
Now it's a case of whether Coffin will gamble on this fourth down situation or whether they will not. Uh, this entire thing came about because of an offside by Kingston. And the measurement determined that it was just slightly short of making it a first down. They're still coming out with a punt formation with Blom back in punting position. Blom gets a pass. He's going to boot. It was almost blocked, but not quite. And it floats again out to the 45-yard line. And Raklevich immediately is hit awfully hard by a Coughlin boy down awfully fast on that one. And he was Bob, not Bob Lowry, because Bob's been out of action. That's Mike Lowry, a freshman. And Mike really smacked him down and hard at the 48-yard line. It was Mike Breklevich against Mike Lowry in that instance. Kingston on the offensive again with Bruce Dietz, the wing to the right side. Williams calling the signals. One back in motion, moving right. Uh, the give is to Breklevich, and he stumbles and falls at the midfield stripe at the 50. He lost his footing, moved it forward to the 50 for a gain of two. Second down and eight. Back into the ball game, Les Lease has a replacement for Richard Jesse, and he'll be carrying a play from the sideline coaching staff. It's Watkins, uh, Uter, Lease, Rosenbaum, Zaleski, Kopicki, and Surridge on the line. Again, Dietz is a wing back to the right side. Roll out to the left and give to Jones. Jones makes one, stopped at the 49, as the forward wall of uh, uh, Coughlin, with very good assistance from Pachotti, break through to make the stop. Principal tacklers, Everett, Gilday, and Pachotti. Here's Jesse going back in. Lee's coming to the sidelines. It's third down and about six. Third and about six on the uh, Coughlin 48. It's near the right sideline stripe, moving towards the southern goal. Bruce Dietz is in motion to the left side. The keeper play with Williams, and Williams gets inside the 40, and he's going for a touchdown. And somehow or other, he broke through. The guys were going to defend, and he got down as far as he thought he was going all by himself. But suddenly, almost out of nowhere, number 47, Holthouse, really came hard on his heels and made a flying, just about a leap through the air in his last attempt and brought him down at the two-yard line. I had actually already called a touchdown because I just could not see where anyone could reach him, but uh, I wasn't reckoning with the fact that Richard Holdhouse wanted to stop the play. He did at the two-yard line where it's first down and goal to go. So it's still 7 to nothing, uh, Kingston. Four minutes and 24 seconds to go in the third period. Here's Dietz uh, scrambling uh, uh, just about to the goal line but uh, no uh, score yet. It was, no, it was Raklevich on the carry. Raklevich stopped at less than the one. Stopped inside the one-yard line. So at second down and goal to go on about uh, the one-half-yard line, if you want to be really careful on your mathematics so far as those line measurements go, here's the play. The offensive formation. The give is to Dietz. No, to Raklevich again, 44. And getting the three fours and the four fours mixed. The Raklevich carried for his second touchdown in the morning. And the score now is 13 to nothing. The last time the extra point was made on a placement kick by Bruce Dietz with Jack Williams holding. Harry Rosenbaum center. Williams to place it. Dietz to boot it. The snap, the placement, the kick, it is off to the right and no good. And the score is Kingston 13, Coughlin nothing. Al Johns and Pontiac, the teammates with the winning combinations every time, ask you to center your attention on the new 1964 Pontiacs. Yes, sir, this year, all down the line, Pontiac has scored a tremendous impact with the beauty queen of any year. As thousands cheer, the all-new Tempest six-cylinder is stealing the play from every other car in its class. Own a magnificent automobile that outmaneuvers. teammates with the winning combinations every time ask you to center your attention on the new 1964 Pontiacs. Yes, sir, this year, all down the line, Pontiac has scored a tremendous impact with the beauty queen of any year. As thousands cheer, the all-new Tempest six-cylinder is stealing the play from every other car in its class. Own a magnificent automobile that outmaneuvers them all. See the all-new 1964 Pontiac.
at Al John's, the area's number one car dealer. See for yourself why they're setting new sales records every week. You'll get a fabulous deal on any car you buy, new or used, at Al John's Pontiac, 560 Pierce Street, near the North Street Bridge in Kingston. Three minutes, 52 seconds to go here in the third period. Jack Williams of Kingston will kick off. On the north 40, kicking tee's been placed out there. Coughlin ready to receive. Score now 13 to nothing. Kingston leading Coughlin here in the third period. Williams to be the kicker. Deepest men, Lazarski and Gritschko. Here's the boot. End over end. Received by Lazarski. At the 15, going to the right side, getting to the 20, still standing up at the 25, going down to the turf. At the 27, 28, and a red flag on the play. And this seems to be flag day because there have been a great number of infractions of rules on the officials have been throwing them all over the field. In penalties before, we got a total of uh, 65 yards against Coughlin and a total of 60 yards against uh, Kingston. Coughlin was clipping that time according to the uh, official interpretation of that infraction. And so the penalty is to be against Coughlin High and takes the ball back to the 14-yard line. So Coughlin goes on the offensive on their own 14. First down, 10 to go. Three minutes and 43 seconds of playing time here in the third quarter of the ball game, and Kingston leads 13 to nothing. Flanker wide right. A roll out and a give to Holdhouse. Holdhouse uh, spilled back of the line of scrimmage as uh, Richard Jesse broke through on him and brought him down at about the 12. Holdhouse stopped at the 12 by uh, Richard Jesse. Here's the right wing man defensively for Kingston High. Second and 12 on the 12. Tight the offensive formation against the seven man line. A roll out to the right side and a pitch back to Lazarski. Uh, Fumble on the play. I don't know how the ball got free. But Kingston recovered on the 10. Winds up a little bit closer to the 11-yard line, so it's first and 10 on the 11. A rollout by Williams, and he pitches the ball laterally, finally to Jones, and Jones is spilled back of the line of scrimmage at about the 13. A loss of at least two on the play. Williams was keeping, and a Coughlin defender burst through on him. He then made a lateral to Jones, and Jones was spilled by uh, Pachotti. The stop was made at the 14-yard line. So it's second and about 13 on the 14-yard line. Uh, Richard Jesse comes to the sideline stripes for uh, a uniform change and is replaced in the Kingston lineup. Here's a rollout by Jones and our Williams rather and a pass attempted to Jones, which was incomplete. The passer was Jack Williams, number 14. Number 42, Jack Jones, was his potential receiver and the play was broken up uh, on the play. It was broken up by Coughlin very nicely. Les Lease was in there uh, on that play for Kingston High. As a replacement for Richard Jesse. Red flag on the field, penalty against Kingston. Five yard penalty. This will make it uh, second down and about 19 to go from the 18 yard line. Kingston takes time out. Kingston is leading. 13 to nothing with two minutes and 10 seconds of the third period yet to go. Here's Don Paul. There's a great deal of difference in winter tires. Charles H. Long of Sweet Valley Golf Distributor says you owe it to yourself to stop by and see your friendly golf dealers. Roberts Golf Service, Main and Corktail Avenue in Luzerne, or Hazel Time Golf Service on the Plymouth Harveys Lake Highway. Compare the completely new Golf 
Viking winter tire with ordinary winter tires. The hard gripping, deep biting edges stay sharper longer to give you thousands of extra miles of positive traction. And four full plies of extra strong nylon give maximum protection against bruising and blowouts. So see your nearby golf dealer, Hazeltine Golf Service on the Plymouth Harveys Lake Highway, or Roberts Golf Service, Main and Courtdale Avenue in Luzerne. Ask them about the Golf Viking Winter Tire. Defensively, Coffin High is using Bill Everett and Joe Michaels at the wings. The tackles are Mike Babushchuk and Pat Sweeney and Tom Gilday is playing the middle guard slot. The linebackers are Slavinsky and Holthouse. The uh, corner men are Pachotti and Gritsko. And uh, uh, deepest men are Blom and Lazarski. For uh, Kingston High, Dan Watkins and Bob Surridge are the ends. John Uter, Richard Jess, uh, John Uter and Ron Kapicki, the tackles. Richard Jesse and John Zaleski, the guards. The center is Rosenbaum. The uh, backfield men are Williams, Jones, Dietz, and Racklevich. And here is Dietz in motion to the left side. A keeper play and a pass play developing as Williams throws uh, deep into the end zone with uh, Surridge as his potential receiver. And by the way, this is a case where uh, Coughlin anticipated the play and they did put the blitz on the passer and he had to get rid of it in a hurry. Coughlin, or Kingston now, has gone to the air three times. They have yet to complete and they have had no interceptions. They're now in a third down situation with 19 to go on about the 20 yard line. Third and 19 to go on the 20 yard line. Flanker to the left side. And a pass play developing. Williams rolls out to the left, looking for a receiver. Can't find the receiver. He runs. He gets down inside the 10, and he stopped at the fight. And a flag on the play. As uh, he has stopped at the five-yard line, Williams could not find a receiver, and he uh, had to run it, and he ran all the way down. At, well, inside the 10 is where the play finally wound up. And there's an infraction of rules on the play. And as mentioned before, there have been lots of penalties in this ball game this morning. This one to be against Kingston. And it's a 15-yard penalty, which pulls the play this time back out to the 22-yard line. A clipping penalty of 15 yards against uh, Kingston. And so now they have sustained uh, a total of 55 yards in penalties against them. And this makes it uh, third down for the Kingstonians. And about 23, 24 yards to go, out on the 23 yards to go. Here's a pass play developing, completed to Dietz. Dietz gallops and stopped at about the one yard, two yard line. The throw, the first completion of the morning. The thrower, Jack Williams, is quarterback. His receiver, Bruce Dietz, who upon three different occasions has been his target. This time it's completed and the stop was made at the two yard line. We're gonna measure to determine whether first down has been achieved as the stop was made inside the two, perhaps close to the one. And if it's a little bit closer to the one, it could be the first down. Any part of the ball being over will make it the first down. It's short by a foot, short by a foot. And so we've got Kingston going back into uh, scrimmage into a fourth down situation with a foot to go on about the two yard line. Fourth and about a foot on the two. They probably will use Raklevich. Williams on the keeper goes over. Williams rolled to the right side and went off the tackle and made the 19th point of the morning for the Kingstonians. It's 19 to nothing as the quarterback Jack Williams carried. The uh, attempted extra point will be a placement kick. Bruce Dietz will be the kicker. Ball will be held for him by Williams. The center's Rosenbaum. The snap back, the placement, the boot, uh, partially deflected and it's no good. And it remains as a 19 to nothing. With a 
a minute and 34 to go in the third quarter. Kingston now leads 19 to nothing. Get the best in Christmas gifts, office and school supplies at Deemer's, 6 West Market Street, next to the Miners Bank in Wilkesbury. You know, students and businessmen and women really appreciate useful gifts from Deemer's, which keep on giving. Who wouldn't enjoy receiving a new briefcase or attache case or a stunning leather-bound pocket secretary? And shop Deemer's for student or teacher gifts. Deemer's can advise you on the right items for technical students such as engineers, architects, accountants, and business majors or student nurses. So choose your Christmas gifts and greeting cards at Deemer's. 6 West Market Street, next to the Miners Bank in Wilkesbury. Open evenings till 9. Williams about to kick off for Kingston. Defensive line set up. Deepest men, Lazarski and Gritsko, on about their own 14-yard uh, line. The hold-up for the moment is actually the lack of a football on the football field. Now they've got the ball and uh, putting it on the uh, kicking tee, and Jack Williams will boot it off for Kingston. Kingston now leading 19 to nothing. We're still in the third period of this ball game, Kingston and Coughlin. Williams moves forward. Williams boots it. A slicing kick going to about the 20. Lazarski gets it, brings it to the 25, to the 30, to the 35. He fumbles the ball. But the ball fumbled out of bounds. He was last in possession of it at about the uh, close to the 40-yard line. At the 40. So uh, as the ball squirted out of his hands, he was last in possession on the playing field. So Kaufman takes over on their own 40-yard line, first and 10. 19 to nothing. A minute 25 to go here in the third quarter of the ball game. Kingston leads. Offensively, Blom sits Lazarski Holthouse in the backfield. Flanker to the wide, to the right side for Coughlin. Blom in the signal calling position. Blom's going to throw. Blom throws laterally to Lazarski. And it may be a free ball. It is picked up by Kingston. It's a free ball so far as I'm concerned. I know there's a scuffle on the field between some Coughlin players and some Kingston players. And fists are flying. He threw the ball. He threw the ball laterally, and it should have been a free ball according to uh, many interpretations of the rules. And the kid picked it up. That's a free ball. And the kid uh, did not continue his parry. Watkins did not continue his parry of the ball. A penalty against Kingston of 15 yards. Let's interpret again. Let's reinterpret. As much ado on the field. This is a case of, is this Kingston's ball now on, on a recovery of a free ball? Or is this uh, just an incomplete pass? They rule it an incomplete pass, and Coughlin retains possession. But oddly enough, the play started from the 40-yard line, and now they're giving possession to uh, Coughlin on the 37-yard line. And I am befuddled for the moment. The interpretation of many people here in the press box is that that should have been a free ball on what was the miss of a lateral pass, not a forward pass play. And the Kingston then would have possession. But there'll be arguments about this one are plenty. Here's Don. Traction. That's what you need for a safe winter driving. Charles H. Long of Sweet Valley Golf Distributor advises you to go to Franklin's Golf Service, Main Highway in Truckville, or Kozlak Golf Service, 214 U Street in Swoyerville, and compare the outstanding features of the all-new Golf Viking Winter Tire. The Golf Viking is a full-size winter tire with an extra broad, extra deep, hard-gripping tread that bites in and pulls you through mud, snow, and slush. The Golf Viking will give you extra winters of wear because the tread is molded from super mileage Golf Flex rubber. Use your golf credit card. No down payment. Take months to pay. 
Why wait? Have a set of Golf Viking winter tires installed on your car today at Coslec Golf Service, 214 U Street in Swaraville, or Franklin's Golf Service, Main Highway in Trucksville. This is one that's going to go be argued for a long time to come. The Coffin still has possession, second and 12, on about their own 37. Whereas uh, from this uh, point, we're going to play with the review. Flanker pass, missed by, missed by Lazarski. The ball was thrown by Blom to Lazarski in the flank. He missed it. Incomplete forward pass. Incomplete flanker pass. Makes it third and about 12 on the 37-38. One of the mysteries to me is how Coughlin got possession on the 38 when the play which originally had started, started from the 40. They flank Rich to the left side as a loser man. And Blom is going to throw to Gritschko if he can find him. Upfield to Gritschko, Gritschko misses! He might have been in the clear. He was uh, uh, being dogged on the play by the safety men for Kingston, uh, Raklevich and Richards, who were about a step or so behind him, but he just couldn't gain possession. On a fourth, that was a third down attempt by Coughlin, so this is fourth and 12 on the Coughlin 38. A minute and one to go in the third period. Kingston leads, 19 to nothing. Play starts from the 38-yard line. It's a punt formation. The deep men are Raklevich and Richards for Kingston. Blom is a potential kicker. Blom's going to run the ball. And he runs it to the 40, to the 45, to the 50, to the 45, and out of bounds at about the 46-yard line of uh, his opponents. And that is a first down for Coughlin on that dangerously run play uh, by the Coughlin Club. And remember, they're down by 19 points right now. And it was well executed by Blom in the fake and a run from the punt formation. First and 10, Coughlin. Close to the 46. Tackle was made by Jack Williams for Kingston High. Number 44 comes in for uh, Coughlin. He is uh, a bush jock. They uh, flank Zitz to the left side. Roll back by Blom, but a give to Lazarski. Lazarski right up the middle, and he goes far, and he gets as far as the 25, to the 25, and he's down at about the 21-yard line. A momentary fumble, and Lazarski himself recovered. First down, Coughlin, and Coughlin has come to life now with two consecutive first downs on two beautifully executed running plays. But Lazarski was injured on that play, occasioning timeout on the field. That for Coughlin was their sixth first down of the corner. Here's Don Paul. Charles H. Long of Sweet Valley Golf Distributor advises you to drop by Sobek Golf Service, 459 Union Street in Luzerne, or Hazeltine Golf Service on the Plymouth Harveys Lake Highway, and give your car's cooling system a full year's protection with Gulf Antifreeze and Summer Cooler. Your radiator and cooling system stay cleaner, protected all year long, and you avoid troublesome spring drain out. Gulf Antifreeze and Summer Coolant is economically priced, too. Visit Hazeltine Golf Service on the Plymouth Harveys Lake Highway or Sobek Golf Service, 459 Union Street in Luzerne, and have Gulf Antifreeze and Summer Coolant installed in your car right now. Don't take a chance on a radiator freeze-up. Lazarski is still apparently out of action. Both the coach and the team physician came over to uh, take a look. He's getting to his feet now. Hobbling around, getting some assistance. And under his own power, he hobbles to the sidelines, but they'll have to have a replacement in there at least for some time for Lazarski. We've got 33 seconds of playing time remaining in the third uh, quarter of this football game. 
Coughlin has just unleashed two consecutive uh, long gainers for first downs, and they now have the ball on the Kingston 22-yard line. Number 42 comes in to the ball game. Mike Black comes in as a replacement for Lazarski. He's a big six foot five inch lad. Mike Black, number 42 in the ball game. Roll out to the right side by Blom. Blom's going to throw. Blom throws a long gainer and a touchdown play for Coughlin as it's Barry Davenport receiving. The receiver was Barry Davenport and he received at the one and went over with both of the Kingston safety men hanging on to him. And the score now is 19 to six as Blom threw the bomb and uh, Davenport received at the one and ran over into the end zone for the TD. With both safety men, Richards and Rakovich, who are fading back to protect against that pass, hanging on to the boy who received. It's a six pointer and it's 19 to six right now. Ball, of course, based on the two for the extra point attempt. It's going to be a pass play in all probability as a shotgun offense is used by uh, Coughlin. Blom gets, Blom throws into the end zone, incomplete. The ball batted down by the defenders. Principal of these defenders, in that instance, Larry Rosenbaum, number 8-0, although the ball also uh, was somewhat deflected by uh, Richard Jesse. So it's 19 to six. There was a red flag. Uh, the penalty should have been against uh, Coughlin and Kingston refused the penalty. And it's 19 to six with 26 seconds of playing time still remaining here in the third quarter. Coughlin play, or the series of plays by Coughlin which produced the touchdown was a 13 yard gain by Blom as he ran the ball in a dangerous fourth down situation from a punt formation and gained his 13. The next play they excluded Lazarski loose for a gain of about uh, 23, 24 yards. And uh, then they passed from Blom to Davenport in the end zone for the next point. Into the ball game comes Paul Wender. Paul Wender is in the ball game for Coughlin High. Even Thomas is in the ball game for Coughlin High. And Mike Black, of course, as I as previously mentioned, is in there. Jim Sabatini is in there also. It will be a placement kick from the South 40. Gritchko's going to kick. Stan Gritchko, the kicker. The deepest man is Fred Richards, standing on his own five. He's in sole safety position right now. They kick it up the middle over the head of Rackleverage and Richards receives at the 15, up to the 20, and he's down at the 25-yard line on a shoestring tackle made by, guess whom? Nano Pachotti, the outstanding defensive player on that football field today. Pachotti honestly has been all over the field and has participated in a great number of the initial tackles and in the pin downs to assist others. First and 10 on the 25. Wing, wing in action to the left side. However, whistles all over the field. And at the end of the third period, the period ended at the 25-yard line. At the end of the quarter, the score, 19 for Kingston, 6 for Coughlin. Here's a name to remember, Al Johns Pond.